So they'll be calling you a radical. I'm not letting this fucking moron get away with this. The leak project. This guy's dumber than a fucking stick. Why would you throw such can cancer karma on yourself? So he's put out this video now claiming he's finding the Fukushima debris. Hey, he's, he's so full of shit. So he's saying, oh, <laughs> everything's great. And I'm going to be a superhero, you know, because I got ready. Fucking moron. I never called it an ELE. Never. Not once. I called it the Great Pacific Genocide. That's exactly. So let's review. Look, I'm, I don't dive into opinion ever. I talked to Mitt Romney, as you know, right there last night, sitting with the legendary professor. That's who I'm sitting with. He's 88. Coach Peterson, the legendary track coach. So, let's review. I don't dive in opinion. I mean, I hypothesize when Fukushima happened, that's what... I am a research PhD. Probably the greatest research PhD in world history. I rely on public funding. Thank you, everybody has funded this because the university here pulled my freaking funding. So, and I got AML leukemia, as you know. 11-11. Let's review the hard... Core evidence. No opinion, no nothing. Tide pools on the entire west coast of California, along the California current, from the via the Japanese current, have collapsed post Fukushima. From what they were in 2011, March 2011, they are down 99%. You don't even have to trust me on this anymore. The Monterey Aquarium, I just left the main biologist, the lead biologist in all of California on the Tijuana River estuary. That's how she contacted me to discuss this. They all agree this is an acute historic 99% collapse on all tide pools on the west coast. Unarguable factual documented by Kevin Blanche on historic low tides. You know, this historic work. Two, Chinook salmon returns on the Columbia River. Well, all the rivers up and down. The entire Pacific Coast. The Columbia River is the biggest one. From 1.4 million to 137,000. It's well over 90 cent per acute collapse, acute collapse post Fukushima. I won't stop there. Humpbacks taken off the endangered species in 2011 2012 are down at least 60%. At least, and this is coming from the well counters, and he used to argue with me too. The well counter, head of the well county foundation, Maui, you know where he's at? He got brain cancer last year and dropped dead. Why would people throw karma? How about the biologists at the Bay in Sacramento at UC Davis? The lead biologists, argue with me. They were killed in a car wreck. You, you do know that. I mean, why would you dive into hyperbole like this? Cancer rates in Oregon are up 400% in the Rogue Valley. All over Oregon. Cancer rates are the biggest spike in freaking anywhere in the country in history in Oregon. Well documented. Cancer rates spiked dramatically here in Utah. Well documented by Kevin Blunt. Verified by the lead oncologist in the world, Fimbo Peterson. Go talk to him. Ask him. The number one oncologist on earth right here, my doctor. <laughs> Survival rates have increased? Absolutely, because medicine is getting so much better. I'm alive. I was given two months to live with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, AML leukemia. Fact. Why would you? <laughs> I've walked the entire coast. All of it. All of it, all of it, multiple times post Fukushima. Hundreds of videos at historic, historic low tide. It's unarguable proof. This, the Pacific Ocean life has collapsed well over 90% post Fukushima. The greatest acute ecological collapse in human, and we're not even talking about mosquito populations in the Western United States or across the world. Uh, debris eight years later. Look up the videos, fool, of the debris that washed up in Oregon. The bridge from Fukushima, Japan, washed up on Gold Beach in seven days, six days after Fukushima. Tim Martin, who's the other expert up there I work with on a daily basis, the salmon guy. Talk to him. Go talk to anybody in the know. This is the greatest ecological collapse. Go talk to any of the marine biologists. Go in there, walk in there. Ask them about the tide pools. They'll say yes. Mystified, baffled, puzzled, stumped, but the fact of the matter is the, this, the Great Pacific Genocide is, I mean, I, I hypothesized it first, but then you have to do the field work, which I did. It's unarguable fucking proof. This historic acute collapse. Don't matter what your bullshit radio guy got, blah, 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 you know, but for sit out there saying I'll tag, and by the way, then I tag a coma, you're, you know, you're a fool. Huh, 
At least I know how to spell. That's when you know they're a fucking moron. You make a typo. That's their argument. Look, I'm a research PhD with credentials up the fucking yin yang. Fucking more credentials than anyone on the face of the fucking earth. Probably the most important scientist, well, maybe ever, but definitely in the last this era. I do the fucking work. Try me. <laughs> the leak project. The only thing fucking leaking is your fucking diarrhea from your fucking mouth. I mean, it's incredible to me the arrogance that people will throw on themselves. Little radiation's good for you, Ann Coulter. <laughs> that dude. My work stands on its fucking own two feet. I mean, there's no opinion, there's no nothing. The Pacific Ocean has collapsed, unarguable, documented proof, post-Fukushima. Oh, we're testing. Nobody's testing. No, we'll tell you to their face. Fuck, I talked to the lead NOAA fucking biologist a fucking, just a couple days ago on the Tijuana River actuary. No, there's no tests. There's nobody testing. Navy has the data, which I know for a fact. I have the transcript from inside the situation. I have all the fucking emails. I have everything. I put them out there. My work's there. You know, it doesn't matter. You can all fucking run and hide. Yay, haha, <laughs> the world was supposed to come to an end. <laughs> uh, I never said that. You know, that's all hyperbole bullshit. Extinction? Oh, there's a lot of species that are going to go extinct from Fukushima. Humans? Well, time will tell. Humans aren't going to go extinct. Did they genocide the natives in Oregon? Just 99%. Are there still natives in Oregon? Oh, yeah. Very few. They altered them forever. That's what it is. It's genocide of the Pacific Ocean, which I named it the Great Pacific, and that's exactly what it is. You stand there on the fucking beach and blah, 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 all we hear is, that's what it is. It's fucking blah. It's counterproductive to you, to your brain, to any. In fact, it just, I tell people, leave everybody's shit up. The trolls, the attack, they hire PR firms to go after me and slander me. Go ahead. Go ahead. I will say this. Anybody that fucking has attacked me, whatever, though I walked through the Valley of the Shadow of Death, I was given two months to fucking live with a disease that no one survived. Sucked up to 119 pounds, plate accounts, the central line hanging on my jugular. Open heart fucking surgery, fucking from the chemo where my name. I fear no fucking evil. And your ignorance is evil. Because the angels that all fucking died. I was in that bone marrow transplant center for a long time. I watched these people die in this acute fashion. You know? We do everything else to a radio roundup fucking sprayed all over, chemical fucks that you add a little Fukushima. I will quote Lake Barrett on 60 Minutes. This is recently. To Leslie Stahl. Well, where's it at? It's right there in the Pacific Ocean. How's it gonna take? This is like going to the moon, much bigger than that. How's it gonna take? Don't know. What is it? What's the thing? Don't know. Never happened before. Lake Barrett to Mark. Kevin Blanche says these are full blown out now that's pushing into the ocean. We don't know what it is. He's named fructonium, which is causing a freaking chain. It's killed the plankton crew, which is down 99%. And it's broke the eco chain. Lake Barrett, the expert on the cleanup, the 60 minute, the guy that's there doing all that. Well, Kevin Blanche is it. That's absolutely right. He's been absolutely right from day one. That's not what you said on TV. We had to tell him something. Go ahead, throw the fucking karma on yourself, fools. No, I'm not opinion. I'm the opposite of opinion. I state hard facts, and I do the fucking work. It's the greatest PhD in human history. Stay in tuned. Brand your fucking full ignorance into history.